The North Stars visit Le Colisee and play the Quebec Nordiques. We welcome you to North Stars Hockey Live on KMSB Receptive Channel 9. Problem comes back tonight as well. This guy is their leader offensively. Two consecutive years of over 100 points in this league, and he missed those 11 games. He's going to come back tonight, and and he should spark this team. They've got to watch him. Added to Matt Sundin and Owen Nolan, there is potential firepower on this Quebec team. Certainly, as of tonight, with Kaminsky in and Sakic back. It's the North Stars against the Nordiques. Stay with us from La Colise, Quebec City. Francois La Rochelle with the second look upstairs if necessary. John Casey has just one victory since the All-Star break. An important start for him in the North Stars net. And at the other end is rookie goaltender John Tanner who's looking for his first win of this season. His second in a short National Hockey League career. Now that's one area Dave where this team is hasn't had any help at all. It's been in goaltending. They're going with Tanner tonight. They've been going with him lately. A young guy just 20 years old and their backup is another youngster with only 16 career games in the National Hockey League. Stefan Fissette. So uh, they've got a very young goaltending tandem that hasn't helped them at all this year. The North Stars injured list almost longer than this team can withstand. Rob Ramage, Mark Bureau, Stuart Gavin. And now Al Peterson are here and not able to play. And back home, Brian Prop and Darian Hatcher are on the injured list. So only 20 players are ready to put the uniform on. And those are the 20 that will have to try to beat the Quebec Nordiques here tonight with Casey in goal and Darcy Wakaluk backing up. Dave, you mentioned John Casey. It's really a big game for him. He's got to try and find his confidence and regain that form that led this team last year in the second half of the season and in the uh, in the playoffs. He's got to find it because without good goaltending, you can't win in this league. And I'm sure he's struggling with himself to try and figure out what he's doing wrong and the things that uh, he has to do to, to really rid himself of uh, some of the soft goals he's been letting in. Well, the best thing that could happen to him would be a couple of quick goals at the other end against John Tanner. So let's see how this game unfolds as Wolanin shoots the puck and John Casey will handle it right off the bat. Jimmy Johnson get it off the boards and out down the ice racing after it Wolanin and Derek Smith. Cracks him Wolanin flips it out. Johnson back of the Minnesota net now. Madonna was out there with Gagne and Derek Smith. A clearing attempt hit the helmet of Craig Ludwig and went out of play. Pierre Paget has lots to worry about here in Quebec as both the general manager and the coach of these Nordiques. One is to sign or trade Eric Lindros and all the other problems seem secondary to that. Well he's a very fiery guy he has an assistant coach in Calgary and then when he was the head coach in Minnesota he was known to be a very fiery coach and he's been showing a lot of patience thus far. Now a big hand for Valery Kaminsky's first shift in the National Hockey League. He is out there with Joe Sackick at center and Greg Pazlowski in the right wing and I guess a few of those rounds of applause were for Sackick's return as well but Kaminsky has received a lot of attention here ever since the Nordiques signed him and brought him over and the fans have waited a long time to see him play they get that chance tonight. Nordy was shoved into the boards an easy shot for Tanner's first save he bounced it off the boards in his dog twist. Bellows in front of the net went by the net without getting a shot gets it back. Pazlowski takes it away from Brian Bello. Sonorti delivers a hit on Sackick as the Nordiques finally get the puck out. Kaminsky still on the ice. He'll race Dave Shaw for it in the Minnesota zone. Sliding to center, Owen Nolan, the leading goal scorer on the Nordiques team, picks up the puck at his own line. Lost it. Bobby Smith turns back from Minnesota. Nice move by Smith. A shot went wide. He had Churla and McCray with him. McCray back of the goal. Churla two. 
It comes loose, and rookie defenseman Dan Lambert shoots it to Sundin. He gets it into the middle of the ice, and Nolan for Sundin. Centering pass, Jamie Baker couldn't handle it. Checked by Bobby Smith. Now it's Churla on the right wing for the North Stars to McCray. As McCray was checked from behind by Matt Sundin, who has great talent, doesn't always use it to the best of his ability, but if these Nordiques get going, Sundin is one guy that's going to give the opposition fits. Alexei Gusarov, one of two Soviet defensemen on the Quebec blue line, passed the puck around the board. Herb Raglan gave it away. Dolan off to Ellick. His shot, another easy stop for Tanner. And again, he passes the puck away to Wayne Van Dorp. Casey watches that go by the net, sits on the back of the net. Casey will hold it right there. The playoffs, sudden death. The Americans beating France today 4 to 1. And that was a tough start. The Americans found themselves trailing in that game one to nothing, but then they came on strong and against the home home team, I guess you could say. Yes, I guess you could. Canada survived, but just barely in a shootout against Germany. So the Canadians and the Americans both move on. And tomorrow night, four other teams will play, including the unified team against yeah. Finland. Sweden beats Czechoslovakia. Curtis Lecician wound up, faked the shot, couldn't get it in front as Badano stopped him. Now Claude Lapointe goes for it. He's bothered by Jimmy Johnson. Comes loose now for Gagne. Gagne on the right wing, Badano looks back for it. Turns it to center to Ludwig, and Ludwig flips it into the corner. Mikhail Tatarinov lost his stick, plays it with his skates around to rookie Bill Lindsay. Here's Ludwig at the point with a chance and a shot. Tanner with the save. Gagne tries to get the rebound. His stick is being held by Lindsay. Tatarinov now for the Nordiques. Plays it in the corner, off the boards to himself. Up the boards now. Ludwig keeps it in. Here's Gagne with a chance to backhand rebound. Derek Smith couldn't get it another one. Goes between the legs of the goaltender as Madonna missed a chance. Here's Johnson over to Ludwig. Ludwig keeps the puck in. Far point. Johnson brings it all the way back out as the North Stars now have six attackers with Casey at the bench. Delayed penalty in effect, and the Nordiques will touch it now as Johnson lost it just outside the line. The first power play is Minnesota's. We have no score yet. In Montreal, this Quebec team Nothing like the Montreal team from a defensive standpoint, and Quebec gives the puck away. A good chance here by Gagne, who gets a shot off. Then he gets high stick right after the shot by Curtis Lecision, so he goes off for high sticking, and the North Stars will get the first power play of the night. Gagne stays out there with Bellows and Dolan as his wingers. Broughton and Tenorti are the point men. And the North Stars control the puck from the faceoff. Mark Tenorti. Watched by Sundin. Tenorti catches up to Bellows pass. Tries to get around Gusarov, who pitches him out nicely. And Sundin shoots the puck around the boards and down the ice. This Quebec team, as you might expect, a team that's 21st in the league, hasn't had much success either on their power play or killing penalties. They're 17th in the, in the league killing penalties. Gagne with some room, trying to move around Claude Lapointe. Lapointe took the puck from Gagne. Vaslowski didn't get it out as Broughton stumbles and falls, and now it's out. Claude yeah. wanting a penalty on Broughton. It does not come. Bellows to Gagne, dropping it back to Neil Broughton. And here are the Nordiques with a two-on-one opportunity. Lapointe with Gusarov, and Lapointe will hold up. Now a great pass and a shot wide by Doug Smale as the former North Star had the best scoring opportunity for Quebec while killing a penalty. Well, he's got great speed. He signed with this Quebec team in the offseason as a free agent, and he's got great speed even at 34 years of age, and he just takes off right down the ice. 41 is Doug Smale. Now, Bellows doesn't see him right away. He tries to get back, and he just can't catch him as Smale just goes right for the net. It's a perfect pass, and... John Casey anticipated that play, but here's the pass right here. Perfect pass from LaPointe. Smale was going in. He just shoots it wide here of the net. 
A minute, one second left in Curtis Lecician's penalty, the first one of the game, called by referee Rob Schick. Bobby Smith now out on the Minnesota power play, as Madonna and Craig with him. Dahlquist and Shaw, the other members of this power play aggregation, as Shaw shoots the puck in, Tanner plays it. Around on the boards, Madonna has it there. Back at the point, Dahlquist will keep it in. And Tatarinov has an easy job getting it down the ice for the Nordiques. Half a minute to go in the Minnesota power play. Madonna steps around the referee. Knocks the puck to the Quebec line. Down the ice it goes from Greg Smith. Well, thus far, give Quebec a lot of credit. They're working hard on this penalty killing situation. They're, they're jumping and forcing the North Stars into bad passes. Greg Wolan of the Nordiques all the way down to Casey. And that will be recorded as his first save of the game. Power play is over now as Madonna attacks for Minnesota. Wolan and bothered by Bobby Smith. Lost the puck to Mike Craig. He keeps it in the corner. Craig tries to get it and attack with it. Has to go get it again. And Pazlowski checks him and it is Gusarov now for the Nordiques. A long pass up to Sackick. He touches it into the Minnesota zone. Casey. Down on the boards and the North Stars bring it out as Bobby Smith dumped it in and then took a hit from Owen Nolan. Usarov's pass just slides to center. Johnson to Bellows. Bellows for Gaetan Duchesne. He was poke checked by Gusarov, but Bellows follows up. Brian Bellows for Neil Broughton. The pass too far ahead of him. Broughton goes after the puck against Gusarov. Duchesne is there too. Broughton spots the puck along the boards, gives it to Ludwig, who moves in. Saki forces him out of the play. Here's a chance for Broughton, dropping it for Johnson, and he put it in the corner. Bellows is there with it. Centering pass, Broughton was too well covered. So Shane against Sackick, and Sackick dumps it out over the line. Offside as the North Stars shoot it back in. We played just about seven minutes of the first period. No score yet. In our first intermission, you'll see a feature on Eric Lindros, his comments on many subjects. There are many things for Eric Lindros to talk about these days. The Pittsburgh Penguins have opened the scoring at home and a goal by Joe Mullen. 1-0 Pittsburgh over Toronto. Mario Lemieux assisted on that goal for the Penguins. We're feeling some heat in the Patrick division. Rob Schick is calling penalties. McCray and Churla out there. Van Dorp and Herb Ragland for Quebec, and that can mean trouble. Well, they're the two tough guys on this Quebec team, and Tony Twist is sitting out tonight. He's another one of their, of their tough guys, and this happens right off the faceoff. Churla lined up against Van Dorp, and these two have bumped into each other many times in the past, and again, there they are. Churla doesn't take a back seat from anyone, and neither does Van Dorp for that matter. Rob Schick wasting no time in getting them to the penalty box. Meanwhile, when you talk about matchups in this game thus far, Bob Ganey has really gotten the matchups that, that he's wanted. His top defensive center is Neil Broughton. He uses him on the other lines, on the other team's top center whenever he can. And tonight, he's getting the, the, the matchups because he's been out there against Saka uh, both shifts. Gordy and the other Howes have a good seat right behind the Nordiques bench, and he'll be busy doing that all night long. Still one of the most recognized and most popular players ever to play this game. It's amazing that you can play this game well into your 50s the way he has, and he's, he's such a strong, powerful guy. He always has big hands, big forearms strong tough and that's what kept him going in this game even when he was in his 40s he could still skate and play I had a chance to play against Gordy when he played first of all for Houston in the World Hockey Association with his two sons Mark and Marty and then uh, when he went to Hartford after that so he uh, he was still able to play even at that age well, Rob Schick was on the telephone talking upstairs to somebody about something but Beats me what the discussion was all about or what the reason for it was. 
Now Pierre Paget doesn't like the uh, whatever the situation. Chick is ready to play now, and the teams will have to get their players out on the ice. They were all gathered around the penalty box area to find out exactly what was going on. They could make an announcement here. It wouldn't help us because we don't hear English spoken over the public address system, but uh, it'll remain a mystery, I think, to everybody as to what was going on with Rob Schick and whoever was on the other end of the telephone. Meanwhile, the game resumes. No manpower advantage as minor penalties are handed out to Churla and Van Dorp. Smail sent the puck backwards, and Bill Lindsay will pick it up. For Quebec will land and flipping it out. Gathered in by Derek Smith, he drops it back to Dahlquist and over to Mark Tenorti. The point for the Nordique. Smith on him. On the point. Still is the puck. Smith falling down. Here's the point turning. A drop pass. Wolanin in the corner. Tenorti against Lindsay. On the point again. Right on the puck, and it's Derek Smith checking him once more. Again, a drop pass. A shot by Dusseron. That was deflected wide. Gagne chipped it out and into the Quebec zone. Icing is now waved off as Gusarov gets there. He flips it off the glass. Tricky Bill Lindsay off the skate of Scale. And now the Nordiques control it in their own zone with Mikhail Tanarina. Dolan is checking him. Lee Johnson tries a shot as Tatarinov just dumped it out to him outside the line. Tatarinov again with it to Matt Sundin. Sundin, former number one draft choice, great pass. They tried to set up Nolan in front, and the pass was just behind him. Tatarinov at the point. Knocked down by Dolan. Tatarinov drops it. There's nobody there but Ulf Dolan who dumps it out. Bobby Smith is with Craig. Two on one. Here's Mike Craig shooting. Craig got a lot of that, but didn't have the net. Who's got the rebound? Loose. Big stop by Casey. Two of them, and the Nordiques aren't finished yet, though Tatarina drags it out over the line. There'll be a penalty to the North Stars, but John Casey survives the first test. I think it might be Casey who's getting the penalty. Well, that was a great play by Casey. Two good saves to get him in this game. Well, it's great to see John Casey get some early work here and respond very positively, even though he gets the he gets the penalty. We talk about the speed of Sundin. He just blows right by Craig Ludwig, walks in alone. Casey with a good job there. He gets knocked out. Now watch him get up and recover right here as it ends up all alone in front of the net and make the save. Great play right there. And then right after that, he go, he gets a slash. But a great job by Casey. Two good saves. There, there's the slash on Owen Nolan right in front. Quebec goes on the power play. Casey out of the goal to play the puck, leaving it there. It's loose for Sackick. Paslowski, Kamensky. Draws a stir every time he touches the puck from these crowds. This is Here's Kamensky trying a pass. Lambert now keeping it in. He falls. Rotten tries to catch up to it. Racing with Gusarov. Broughton knocked it ahead of him just a little too far with a clean breakaway. Gusarov putting the grab on Broughton, but Broughton stays with the puck until Sackett digs it loose to Kamensky. Lambert for the Nordiques to Sackick. Sackick centered it. Maslowski missed it as Johnson had him covered, and Bellows flipped it. Derek Smith, a neat move to get it out. Bellows catching up with him. Here's a pass to Bellows, and he waved at the puck of the backhand. Couldn't make contact. Bellows against Tatarinov, who takes a shove in the back, and Owen Nolan to Sackick. Sackick brings it over the line, hit the back of the skate. Tatarinov holds it at center. He's lost the puck that way once, almost did again. Sundin's long shot is wide. Sitting on the back of the net, Casey indicates that and gets the whistle. 29 seconds remaining in John Casey's penalty. Well, this power play of the Quebec Nordiques is ranked 22nd in the league overall. They've scored the fewest number of power play goals, just 34, and they rely on this man right here, Matt Sundin, to provide a lot of their offense. As you mentioned earlier, Dave, a very, very talented player. The Nordiques took him first overall in the league 
back in 1989 out of Sweden. And, uh, you know, the problem with this team is that they rely on these on these young kids are their best players. They rely on those guys to be to be their real leaders. And they're not really they haven't matured enough yet to to really uh, be in that kind of a role. The biggest impact of Kamensky and Sakic playing in tonight's game seems to be an improved Matt Sundin. He doesn't have to carry quite so much of the load anymore with two big stars wearing this Quebec uniform. And Sundin has really performed already in this first period. Here's Nolan on the end of a power play. A shot hit the goal post as Jamie Baker was set up. And now we've got another penalty coming. Still nine seconds left in the first infraction. The North Stars will be two men short for those nine seconds. And still one man short for almost two minutes after that. Well, that's going to be Neil Broughton going off for the North Stars. And what happened on that play is after the giveaway at the blue line, Broughton's going to try and take the shot. And he has his stick lifted before he could shoot. It was the puck was taken. and. As the play went back the other way, Neil Broughton tripped the Quebec player, and that gives Quebec a great opportunity. The importance of uh, the faceoff spot can be seen with nine seconds remaining in the first of the two Minnesota penalties, so the Nordiques will be anxious to win the draw and try and get a quick shot on Casey, hoping to score within those nine seconds so that they would have a 1 0 lead with a man advantage for almost two minutes. Now, Joe Sackick back in the lineup tonight. He missed 11 games with bursitis in his ankle. In fact, it got so bad that they actually did some minor surgery. They had to cut it open and go in and really clean out the inside of his ankle to get him back in the lineup. Our stars will use Gate Tandu, Shane, Chris Dahl, Quist, and Mark Tenorti as three penalty killers in front of Casey. Kamensky is back out there with Sackick. Greg Pazlowski is the right winger. Lambert and Tatarina off at the points. And Duchesne looking for any advantage possible on the draw. Nordiques win it cleanly. Tatarina off to Lambert. Lambert back to Mikhail Tatarina. The pass, a shot, hit the goal post again. Two of them now. That was almost Kaminsky's first NHL goal. First penalty's over, so the Nordiques do not capitalize on that advantage, but still have the one man. Puck came out to center as Tatarinov shoots it in. Didn't get much of that. Tenorti right there along the boards with lots of time to get it down the ice. Well, they worked the play they wanted to. They got the North Stars frozen a little bit. In fact, what had happened was Duchesne got tied up right in front, and that allowed Quebec to be able to make that play. And Kaminsky didn't get all he wanted to on that shot, but it still dinged off the post. Casey out of the goal, plays it around in the far corner. Pazlowski keeps it there, back of the net for Sackick. He's going to send it all the way back to the point, but Lambert wasn't expecting that. Still over a minute of power play time for Quebec. Tatarina begins the attack for Nolan. A nice drop pass, but Tenorti made a good play. And the North Stars get rid of it again. Excellent play by Tenorti. He actually hit two Quebec players and still ended up with the puck. Lambert to Sundin, who's been dangerous every time he has touched the puck. He's got it again. Ludwig swept it to Derek Smith, and he'll move it down the ice. Half a minute remaining in Neil Broughton's penalty as Gusarov shoots the puck off the glass. Nolan along the boards. He fires it around to Sundin. Baker behind the net to Owen Nolan. Now it's Gusarov. Nolan watched by Johnson. Turns it behind him. Baker gave it to Gusarov. Gusarov winds up now, shoots Casey with the stop. Nolan jumps on the rebound. Hit into the boards by Ludwig as Nolan goes down. He appears either hiding his head or injured. It looks as though Nolan is okay. They get the whistle, the North Stars do, and have killed off the second penalty to Neil Broughton. Friday night, the road trip continues and will be there at Madison Square Garden in New York as the North Stars take on the NHL's top team, the New York Rangers. There is Wayne Presley's brother entertaining the fans here at Quebec City. <laughs> Now well, we have the heavyweights back on the ice now for both teams. Van Dorp is lined up in front of the net. 
Basil McRae is also there. Enrico Ciccone sees his first shift of the evening as well on defense for the North Stars. Ciccone trying to tie up Herb Raglan. He does so that Basil McRae can take the puck and get it out into the neutral zone, turning his Dan Lambert. Greg Smith on the ice as well for the Nordiques, and he has a reputation for tossing the gloves off at the least. Sign of trouble as a big hit is delivered along the boards by Raglan. Raglan knocking into McRae. Now McRae has the puck. Offside of the North Stars at the Quebec line. Well, Baz talked earlier in the game, or just prior to the game starting, about about the attitude this team has to take tonight, and he made a good point. Most teams in this league normally go through a, a game like the North Stars had last night, where they get blown out. There's not a lot you can do about it. You just gotta, you have to try and forget it. The good thing is that the North Stars get to come back right away and play the next day and reestablish some of that pride as Bob Ganey was talking about this afternoon. And just have to forget about it. And they're playing a, a different team tonight. That Montreal team that they played against last night was terrific. It was an impressive performance by the Canadians. And they might have beaten anybody in the National Hockey League uh, the way they played last night at the Forum, though not necessarily by a score of eight to nothing. But the Canadians, if they could stay that healthy, are going to give everybody lots of trouble. And of course, they already are. One of the top teams in the league, number two overall behind the Rangers. Now, Rob Schick is trying to set down the law with respect to line changes with Pierre Paget. Now, interestingly enough, thus far in this game, he has played Sackick against Neil Broughton and some of the other lines that he's that he's been uh, that he's been worried about. But uh, Bob Ganey has done a couple of things by changing some of his lines around, and that's that's helped his cause. We've got McCray out there now with Gagne and Madano. Our leaks have changed up as Bill Lindsay knocks the puck into the center zone, goes back and gets it again. Gagne kicks it away from him. Gagne trying to get it to McCray. Here's McCray, a shot, doesn't get to the net as it was blocked by Wolana. In the corner again, kicking it loose is Gagne. And Doug Smale picks it up. Dale uses his speed to come away from the fray to center with Lindsay now. Lindsay has it, a shot, easy stop for Casey, who covers up with Smale right there. 6.07 to go in a scoreless first period. Penguins who need the victory, so of course to the Toronto Maple Leafs. It is 3-0 early in the game at the Civic Arena in Pittsburgh. Tenorti with... Kamensky draped over him. Tenorti still has the puck. Now Broughton helps out and they get a whistle with 5.56 to go. Six shots for Minnesota, five for Quebec in this first period. Well, Mark Tenorti's gone through a tough season for the North Stars, especially early when he had the injury. He's been trying to fight back from that injury, and he's had to change his game somewhat and actually try to become a little bit more conservative. He just doesn't have that push off that left leg that he had last year when he was able to just pick up the puck and take off and use his speed and power and go with it. Now he's he's being forced to be a little bit more conservative. Big giveaway by Dahlquist and Casey bails out his defenseman as the shot came from the point by Tatarina. Now this is one thing that the North Stars really haven't done in the last four or five games is give the puck away in their own zone. Dahlquist trying to make a play up the middle. He puts it right on the stick of tearing off and he just takes a shot but again Casey he's been sharp in this period so far he's come out he's looked confident he's, his concentration has seemed very good he's handling the puck and he's he's doing a good job thus far in that Pittsburgh game Joel Mullen has two of the goals for the Penguins and Ron Francis has the other Grant Fuhrer not yet back in goal for Toronto it's Rick Wamsley it might be a long night for him if the first 12 minutes of the game is any indication Pass a little too far ahead of Bellows. Pazlowski, the other number 23, goes for it. And Neil Broughton keeps it into Bellows. Bellows center, here's Broughton. And his shot is blocked by a sliding Curtis Lecician. Kaminsky goes to the puck along the boards. Broughton sweeps it away from him. Neil Broughton back with another chance. Duchesne in the rebound center. Oh, big chance in front by Bellows. And the North Stars couldn't put that in. Here's Kaminsky all by himself down the right wing. Knocked off stride. It's the left leg that he broke, and Kaminsky will take a while probably to show his top form. Came close to scoring earlier in the period when he hit the goalpost. Ellick tries to bust through the defense, and the Nordiques prevent that. 
Well, you can't get in game shape by just practicing. It's going to take Kaminsky a couple of weeks at least to get in the type, type of form that he is used to. Nordic slide the puck into the Minnesota zone with four and a half minutes left. Ciccone goes back for it. He's paired a defense with Dave Shaw, and it's icing. As Ciccone touches the puck, the fans don't agree that icing should have been invoked. And former Minnesota North Stars coach, Pierre Paget now with Quebec. Bob Ganey hoping to get a big two points here against Paget's Nordiques. Our stars will see that score Pittsburgh three Toronto nothing and realize what they could do with a win here tonight. We're back ten points up on the Maple Leafs if the Penguins go on to defeat Toronto. Dolan on the backboards watched by Lambert. Dolan takes it to his feet where he can play it so adeptly. Malapoint routed out for the Nordiques. Greg Smith gets control of it and just knocks it down the boards. Tony touches the puck and. Begins a rush out of the Minnesota zone, and Rico Ciccone checked by Sundin as he went to shoot it in. Now he backhands it across the Quebec line and takes a hit from Owen Nolan. Greg Smith's pass taken by Baker. Here's Sundin shot another goal post. Just the outside of the post, but counted as three that the Nordiques have hit already. Well, John Casey could use a little luck, so he's due for some. as he tried to pass the puck. Madonna brings it out for Minnesota. Madonna was kept out of the Quebec zone by Wolanin, and Tenorti has to go all the way back inside the Minnesota blue line. Wolanin shoots the puck to Dahlquist. He bangs it out. Back it took a hit from Tenorti, and McCray picks up the puck to Madonna. He's got some room on the right side. Here's Tenorti busting down the middle with a shot, and Tanner got his glove on it. Kaminsky watches it go to center. Johnson shoots it back in, but McCray touched it while offside. 2.53 left as we're still looking for our first goal. When you get into a game where you lose eight to nothing and you look down that scoring sheet as to who the who was on the ice for the most goals, it's hard to think that there are any players at all that uh, that escaped that. But Chris Dahlquist was one of those players for the North Stars against Montreal last night. He played a lot of minutes for the team last night and was not on the ice for one goal against the entire evening. Shane Churla was the only other North Star who was in that situation, although he watched the first goal of the game from the penalty box, so he wouldn't say his record was unblemished. But Dahlquist, amazingly enough, was not on the ice for a goal even strength or the two power play goals that the Canadians scored. Ludwig a check on Ragland, allowing McCray to pick up the puck, leaving it for Bobby Smith. Ludwig, he gave it away as Katarinov to Lindsay. Lindsay with a shot that didn't get there. He goes for the rebound. Great block by Johnson. The assistant shot goes wide. Katarinov just walked away from the puck. Didn't want to be hit. And the fans recognize that and tell them what they think of it. Now Forche up for Katarinov. And the North Stars quickly realize that Mr. Katarinov isn't too wild about being hit. But there's going to be a penalty call to Shane Churla. Well, that's been one of the criticisms about Tatarinov this year is that he doesn't hit anybody at all, yet he's still a, a plus player on this team. Now, he has a chance to get the puck, and he just turns away right there. He sees Shane Churla coming, and he was clearly the closest player to that puck. He's got to go in there and get that, and he just, he just turned away. Now the charging penalty to... Shane Churla as he goes in and gets a hit after that play. So Churla will go off and the Quebec Nordiques will go back on the power play. They've had three in a row and have been unable to beat John Casey. Nordiques have been outshot eight to six in this first period as Dahlquist shoots the puck into the Quebec zone. Tanner leaving it for Alexei Gusarov. He hit the back of Sackick Skate trying to get the puck into the zone. Lambert has to wait down, throw it back to Gusarov up to Sundin. 
Lundin is double team gave up the puck to Nordy on his backhand flips it high in the air and the North Stars have not been bothered by this Quebec power play. Here's Busseron. Into the far corner to Nordy will watch Nolan play the puck. Nolan dumps it deep. Sackick runs after it. To the point. Busseron nicely to keep it in. Nolan. Lower to the corner. Dahlquist bangs it off the boards. It doesn't come out though. Busseron kept it in. Take the shot. Now throws one and scores. to pick up the puck and walk right in with the shot. A good move there to get by Bellows. Bellows has got to force him there instead of turning the other way. He fakes the shot once, watch Bellows go by him, and that allows him to go in, and then Casey screened as Tenorti tries to block that shot. The puck actually went right underneath Tenorti, and Casey really didn't have a chance on it. Well, the fans haven't been too fond of the play of the other Soviet defenseman, Mikhail Tatarinov, but Gusarov Bring some cheers with this play. A good fake. And then a good shot, keeping it low away from the blocking Tenorti and right inside the post. Gusarov seems pretty happy with himself, too. Well, he, he, he took the perfect shot because if that puck would have been up at all, it would have done a couple of things. Either it would have hit Mark Tenorti or Casey would have seen that puck all the way. But because it went underneath Tenorti, Casey had no idea where that puck was going. So like last night, Shane Churla watches the first goal of the game from the penalty box. He was not happy with the call of Rob Schick on this occasion. Jimmy Johnson turns away and finds Claude LaPointe right on him as he dumps the puck to London. London just sends it out. Lindsay back for it for Quebec. Final minute of the opening period as Claude LaPointe. Is knocked off stride by Derek Smith. Wolanin follows up for Quebec. Wolanin a shot from the blue line, deflected easily to Casey. Now Ludwig into the corner. Craig Ludwig gets it himself. Put it right on the stick of Wolanin. More giveaways by the Minnesota defense here in the first period than we've seen in a long time. Yeah, that's a good point. They've given it away four or five times this period, and what Quebec's defense are doing, they're not backing out of the zone at all. They're staying right in the zone and just stepping up and picking off those passes by the North Star defense. North Stars had too many men on the ice for a few seconds. The fans saw it. The officials didn't. Tony in his own zone. On the right side, Shaw's pass went right to a Quebec stick, but Sundin couldn't keep it. Now brought Flipped it toward the net. Tanner jumps out. Here's Bellows with a shot. Tanner stayed in position, though. And that's the end of the period after Brian Bellows had one last chance to put Minnesota on the board. Well, I think Bob Ganey would have wanted a little better period out of his team in this first period. Now we've got some players that are mingling at center ice, pushing and shoving a little bit. But the North Stars with a few too many giveaways in their own zone. But the young goalie, Tanner, came up with some pretty good saves in the Quebec net. North Stars outshot the Nordiques 9-8, but as we saw last night, that doesn't mean anything. Quebec has scored the only goal. Up it out in front of the net, Gusarov, the goal scorer up to Doug Smale. Casey plays the puck for Derek Smith. Smale is right on him. Madano takes a hit and gives the puck away in the neutral zone. Nolan left it there, Gusarov. Up for the point. His pass intercepted by Gagne. Now it's Madano. Try to pass. Chopped it near the net. Here's Gagne. He tried to center it, and the Nordiques come away with it. On the stick of Doug Smale. Nordy took a hit. The helmet popped off as Nolan hit the Minnesota captain. Now he's all wrapped up by Jamie Baker. Then Nolan went down. Coming up. The North Stars, as you heard Mark Tenorti say in the intermission, were not very happy with the penalty call on Shane Churla that led to the power play goal by Quebec's 
Alexei Gusarov, and here Schick is starting the second period the way he finished the first by calling a penalty on Minnesota. Well, the North Stars really didn't have a chance to really get a good flow going in that first period because of the penalties. Quebec was one for three on the power play in the first period, and the North Stars were 0 for one. And when that starts happening, it, it throws off your flow, and you never get into a role where you can start rotating three, four, five, six lines and just keep them going to get some to get some pressure on. This is a penalty that's deep in the Minnesota zone. Derek Smith comes in and Hits a Quebec player from behind. That's the call right there. So the North Stars will find themselves back, killing another penalty to start this second period. And according to the rule about hitting from behind, there wasn't much question that that penalty should have been called. They chose to call it roughing instead of boarding or hitting from behind. But either way, it's a Quebec power play, which has been responsible for the only goal. Now Brock moves out with Duchesne. Brought across the line, a left wing pass. Here's a centering pass from Johnson to Duchesne, and he couldn't get his stick on it. But the Nordiques are going to the penalty box themselves for slashing, and the power play doesn't last long. And behind the play, the first one that Rob Schick missed was Owen Nolan spearing Craig Ludwig. That was behind the play as the North Stars were taking the puck up the ice. Nolan actually speared Ludwig and then down the ice once the North Stars did get their chance shorthanded. Nolan came back and cross checked the North Star player and that evens things up. Good shorthanded try right here now. Right on that play Duchesne just couldn't quite get enough of his stick on the puck as he was being hooked by one of the Quebec players. This game could use a left in terms of the excitement being generated, but the situation involving these two teams, the team that's leading won't be the one anxious to try to change the flow of the game. The Nordiques have the lead and are happy with that. It's up to the North Stars to tie the game or get themselves some momentum in that direction. And they did give Owen Nolan the penalty for spearing. Katarinov now. Flipping it out to center, Johnson turns away and shoots it to open ice. Tatarinov goes for it. Allen goes and takes the puck from him, centers it, Alex slides it near the net as Tanner goes down. Boy, Tatarinov is a coach's nightmare. Now it's Sackick, who's a coach's dream. Still is the puck, gives it to Tatarinov. Shot one at the net. Position skate. Position now backs up and shoots it at the net. He had Dolan breaking but couldn't get in the puck. Kaminsky gets it over to Tatarina. Tatarina shot slides wide to Norty. One of the keys for the North Stars in the second period, Dave, is they've got to start putting more pressure on that Quebec defense, Tatarinov in particular. You can see when he gets the puck or anyone near him, he shies away from it. They've got to put more pressure on, and that'll cause some turnovers. Padano was given the puck, but Gagne happened to be offside, so he could not attack. Here's Tenorti at the Quebec line, just dumps it across as Gagne again moves out of the zone. Sundin to Lambert. Lambert around a check from Gagne. Gives it back to, to Pazlowski, rather, and he shot one at the net that Casey will hold with Sundin looking down on him. The Nestle 100 Grand Bar, the official candy bar of the North Stars, is presenting the 100 Grand Power Play scratch off game. Get a game piece. And you can win a road trip with the North Stars or other exciting prizes. See participating stores for details. There is no purchase necessary. Two seconds remaining in the Derek Smith penalty, and then a short power play will belong to Minnesota. As we get into the line juggling, delaying tactics on behalf of both sides, and Schick is going to tell the North Stars what they must do in terms of players on the ice. Well, he wants somebody back on the ice for the North Stars and he's going to get his wish right here. As he went over to the bench and told Bob Ganey to put David Shaw back on the ice and so Shaw comes back and Tenorti will go off. 
Uh, he would like an explanation before he does. So the Minnesota captain will go back and hear from Rob Schick briefly and now head for the bench. The point tried to win the draw for himself. Now battles with Craig. Short power play for the North Stars. As yet, they don't have the puck. Looser off turns and kills a bit of time with Wolana. Now up to Smale. Smale lost it. And Dalton has it for Minnesota. Dalton the pass on the left side. Dalton will get it into the zone. Off the boards, Tanner. Leaving it there. Craig looks for it. Wolana watched by Craig. Smith is back there. Dolan shoves the player out of the way and tried to get the puck back to Dahlquist, but it was intercepted. There's a pass to the point, dropping it to Smale. Smale's shot was blocked. He reaches for the rebound, but the North Stars pick it up. Bobby Smith ahead to Dolan. Dolan is watched by Gusarov as the or just given to Smale. The North Stars are caught in the change. Rookie Bill Lindsay is puck checked by John Casey. Again, Casey bails out his defensemen who were at the bench or coming from it. Well, the North Stars had good control of the puck coming up the ice, and when Mark Tenorti saw that, he left the ice, as did the other defenseman, Chris Dahlquist, and the turnover just inside the Quebec line led to the breakaway, but vintage John Casey, as he came out and very alertly poke-checked the puck off the rookie stick. Bear shot the puck at Bellows. It lies there for Forche. Ragland with a shot. He scores! Well, the North Stars find themselves. Look at the defensemen. They're way back in the zone already, so they easily up the line they find themselves flat-footed and Raglan just lets a quick shot go that just catches the right post and gets past John Casey but the North Stars were backed in they found themselves flat-footed Ludwig couldn't do anything there and Raglan noticed that just took a quick wrist shot and just got it by Casey a glance off the right post and behind him for a 2-0 Quebec lead Nordic fans anxious to see Kamensky and Sakic tonight. If the team will lift right off the battle, although they haven't had much to do with this 2 0 lead that the Nordiques enjoy. Here's Kamensky with it. And it's Shaw. Watch my pass, Lasky. Knocked on balance. Kamensky waved at the puck. Alex cut it up in the air and out of the zone. Basil McCray after Lambert. Bear skates away from him, knocks the puck up to Pazlowski. McCray goes and gets it. Churla delivering a hit on Smith, who looks back, and now Greg Smith has the gloves off and throws a punch at Shane Churla, who keeps things to himself. Thus, the only penalty should be to the Quebec defenseman, Greg Smith. That's a good job by Shane Churla as he came up with the big hit and then took a punch in the head for his teammates. Well, that was a good last shift by the North Stars as Basil McRae and Shane Churla went out and started taking the man, and that cost some turnovers. Here's a hit right there by Churla. Now Smith goes right after him, punches him once, and he throws down his gloves. Churla swings at him, but he doesn't get called for that, and then Smith goes off. A double minor for roughing, so a great opportunity for the North Stars to get right back in this game. Pierre Paget, the general manager and coach of this team, took over earlier in the year when he fired Dave Chambers and decided to, instead of naming one of his assistants or associate coach, Jacques Martin as the coach, decided to go back behind the bench himself. Already up to Madano, his pass intercepted by Doug Spale, and he knocked it back off the referee, which pleases some of the fans, and into the Minnesota zone. Bello leaving it for Mike Madano, who is taking a turn as a point man of the power play here. Normally, that spot is occupied by Neil Broughton. Madano has had his trouble earlier in the season when he tried to play there. As the North Stars do lead the league in shorthanded goals given up. 
Kanye looks for the puck. His pass finds Madonna on the other side of the ice. Madonna tries to get around the point. He was knocked off stride and just swept into the Quebec blue line. We have a penalty coming up here to the North Stars. Well, Mike Madonna is going to go off for slashing, and he complained after being pulled down. But that's not the type of discipline that Bob Ganey wants right now. A great chance for the North Stars to get back in this game, and Mike McDonald, Mike McDonald takes a silly penalty. Now they need to just get get themselves together here and composed as a team and, and, and just get back and get everybody playing and going in the same direction. Well, it does undo what Shane Churla did, that's for sure. Madonna chopping away after he was pulled down, and so shots that Churla took from Greg Smith don't mean much, at least not for the next couple of minutes. Well, Quebec, what they're doing is they're you know, they're being very aggressive when they're killing these penalties. They're jumping all over the North Stars, and the North Stars haven't had a lot of support for the puck carrier. And he's, the puck carrier is finding himself in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And Quebec forwards, the point in particular, is very aggressive on the puck carrier. And he took down Madonna there, but then Madonna tripped him, and he ended up in the box. Bobby Smith beats Sackick on the draw. Sackick goes to Dahlquist, and he drops it off to Mark Tenorti. Tenorti just flips it out of the zone. Nordic Sackick behind Lasician, a chance here for Dahlquist. He drops it to Dahlquist, but it came out of the zone, according to the linesman, and oh, that's offside at the Quebec blue line. Now, this is the type of game that Alf Dahlin should be it should be very effective in. With this defense, they're nothing like Montreal's. You can force these defense, you can get on them. They tend to give the puck away a lot. The way Ulf Dahlin handles the puck and the way he's been playing with all his confidence as of late, this is a guy that should have a big game in here tonight. Well, we're looking at the leading goal scorer for the North Stars, and we might as well make the point that Minnesota needs a goal from anybody. Didn't get one last night in Montreal, and here we are into the second period against Quebec, and the North Stars do not have a goal tonight. And just to score one, let alone get back in the game, to help. Bobby Smith was ready to shoot, and then Sundin took the puck away from him. Sundin for the Nordiques. Dropping it off to Sackick. Pass across the ice, intercepted by Smith. They were intending it for Tatarina. Position game right to Dolan. Dolan. His shot was blocked by Curtis Lasician. Dolan was taken into the boards, and Tatarina picks up the puck for the Nordiques. Crowd favorite here, as we can tell. Katarina off the Sackick. Tied up as Van Lambert goes for the puck. He's ridden into the boards. Back of the goal, Sunday to Sackick, a shot. Rebound as Katarina off the start to try to get that at the net quickly. Now he makes too many moves, but close check by Craig. And the North Stars shoot the puck down the ice. Both teams at even strength. Mike Craig is to try to prevent an icing here, and he does. Nice move by Craig in the corner against Dan Lambert. Puck comes free for Alec. He gives it to Johnson. Johnson shoots. And Tanner's got the puck as Craig comes looking for a rebound. And the Nordiques mug him. Jimmy Johnson still shooting at the puck. Hasn't heard the whistle yet. Well, that's a good job by Mike Craig. Even though that puck was in the crease, it was still loose. And that's a good thing for him to go in there and, and try and jam that puck in. What the North Stars need right now is they need someone to give them some life. Now, he makes a good play preventing the icing. And now Johnson comes in here, and you'll see the puck just slide underneath. Now, it's underneath his pads, but it's still free. Now, you'll see Craig come, come in from the side. We didn't get a chance to see it, but Craig came dashing in from the side there and just hit a couple of players. And he's trying to get something going here for this team. They need a spark right now. of Tanner's mask. Everybody knows that the dollar sign is all important in the NHL this season. I guess it doesn't hurt to display it that way either. Pretty soon somebody will take that instead of a number in the back of the sweater. Well, Brian Bello said tonight before the game, even half laughingly about last night's game, that They've got to put it out of their minds and just come out and play hard. Well, they need to start doing that right now. They need to start forechecking and start getting some, some scoring opportunities. Smale takes it across the line of centering. Pass the point was taken down. Another Minnesota penalty is being called 
as Claude LaPointe was taken down by Brian Bellows. And the North Stars will now be two men short. The Nordiques have one man in the penalty box. Well, you talk about a change of events here and the way things have turned. The North Stars had a four minute power play and now have taken two penalties. You'll see Brian Bellows here trying to cover up and he pulls down the Quebec player and they all go into the net and Bellows gets a two minute hooking penalty. So now Quebec will have a four on three on Bob Ganey's North Stars. That advantage will last for 11 seconds. And Madonna will emerge from the penalty box. Then they'll be at even strength until Greg Smith leaves. And then the Nordiques will be back on the power play. This assumes no goals will be scored throughout this next couple of minutes. Here's Lambert for Quebec. Stopped by Prad, who turns, didn't get the puck out, but knocked it free in Ludwig. He'll shoot the puck down the ice as Madano now is back on the ice. And the teams are at even strength. A little more than a minute. Sundin for Quebec. Long pass catching up to it. Gusarov. He's watched by Ludwig. Greg Ludwig is pounded by Kaminsky as Gusarov takes the puck. Gusarov to Kaminsky. A shot. A quick one. Madano is hit. And Sundin picks up the puck for Quebec. Pass to Kaminsky. He couldn't get it through the Minnesota defense, but he tied up Johnson. The puck sits right on the blue line. Madano, he's taken down by Gusarov, and there's a Quebec penalty. John Casey out of the net as the North Stars shoot the puck near it, but nicely wide for Ludwig. He bounces it off the back of the net. Time ticking away in Greg Smith's penalty for the Nordiques and in the penalty to Brian Bellows. Here's Gagne moving in. He shot for the short side and was wide. Zakic will touch the puck and get the whistle. On the penalty call to the Nordiques, Brian Bellows has 39 seconds remaining, and after he leaves, Minnesota will be on a power. Mike Madano had the puck, was controlling it, trying to go back into his own zone. He was chased by Gusarov right here, who pulls him down right along the boards. And then the North Stars controlled the puck for about another 30 seconds. So we'll still play four on four for the next 39 seconds, and then the North Stars will go back on the power play. Gagne with Pazlowski checking him to Dolan, and now back to Mark Tenorti. Tenorti up for Dolan. Puck slides into the Quebec zone. Gagne first one to it for Minnesota. Lecician takes it back in the net again for the Nordiques. He flips it up for Owen Nolan and knocked it past Tenorti into the neutral zone. Gagne, watched by Pazlowski. North Stars soon will have the man advantage. Here's Gagne's pass across the ice, intercepted by Nolan. Pazlowski catching up, trying to make it 2 on 1. Nolan shoots, and Casey holds the rebound. With two seconds remaining in Bellows' penalty, they'll face it off deep in the Minnesota zone. Well, Tenorti made a great play, and he actually probably got away with one as the Nordiques came back the other way after the flat pass across the blue line. This is actually a two-on-one, but watch Tenorti hook down Pazlowski here and then fall down, and Nolan looks up, sees he now has a one-on-one -on -one and has to take the shot. But here's the two-on-one right here. Tenorti gets caught up, and there's the two-on-one, but look how he hooks down Pazlowski right there, and Nolan, Nolan just decides to take the long shot, and Casey with the save. Five to nothing now, Pittsburgh over Toronto. The uh, North Stars continue to get good news from other games with St. Louis losing in Detroit last night. Toronto being whipped in Pittsburgh thus far anyway, but the North Stars don't take advantage unless they can win themselves. And right now they're just trying to score a goal. Minnesota power play now as Bellows is back on the ice. Nordiques shoot it off Ron Schick again, and the fans are getting some enjoyment out of that. The point. Bob's uh, already coming, and still got the puck into the North Star zone. Smale is back there watching Neil Broughton as Broughton brings it out for Minnesota. Less than a minute to go in this shortened Minnesota power play as Broughton shoots it right on Tanner. He knocked it out. Is up to it and lost it to Broughton. Broughton's pass to Tenorti. Well, 
Nate Hill cough up the puck and the Nordiques shoot it right back into Minnesota zone. Casey up to Bellows. Land Bellows crossing the line. Gagne was ahead of him and it's offside and the North Stars just can't do anything right. Now they're just holding on to the puck a little bit too long. They've got to head man the puck to that guy that's in front of them because that there's, there's room there if you move the puck and keep the flow going. If you don't move the puck, what happens is the player ahead of you either is going to go offside or he's going to have to stop at the blue line. Still time to be a season ticket holder for the rest of this season. Call 853-9333. Count executives are standing by at that number. Our stars on the road with three games in New York. We say New York, we include New Jersey. Rangers, Islanders, and Devils, and then they come home to play the Montreal Canadiens. Thinking about last night all along, I would think, as the North Stars return home, but first they have to worry about this road trip, which is, to say the least, starting in a bad way. A few seconds remaining in this Minnesota power play as Todd Ellick passes the puck up the left side. Dahlquist will take a shot, get something out of the power play. Smith is hit along the board. That's Greg Smith. And Bobby Smith shot it at the net. It's loose. It's still loose. Hanner never did have it covered up. But the North Stars didn't capitalize, and the Nordic shoot the puck out of their zone. Now Ellen gives it to Bobby Smith. Three on one, but the North Stars step offside. Each goaltender right now with 11 shots on goal. John Casey has had the more difficult of the saves to this point in the game. Casey out of his net, leaving it for Jim Johnson. Johnson up the left side. Asa McCray knocked it ahead. The Nordiques pick it up, and here's Ragland with a shot. He scored one goal tonight. Casey with the save. It goes high. Forte bumps into Ludwig, allowing Ragland to come and get his own rebound. Here's a shot in front of the net. Sackett whacked at it. He looks for it again back of the goal. McCray. Lost it to Forche. Sackick against Johnson along the board. Sackick comes out with it. Here's Joe Sackick walking in a pass, and that hit the side of the net, close to being another goal post. The Nordiques have hit three. Forche and McCray came together with elbows high, and the Nordiques keep the pressure on. Ladano now for Minnesota. Mike Ladano on a solo run. Shoots one. Tanner the save. Big rebound. Madano gets to it, and that's empty. Madano can't get a shot on the goal. Ciccone drives it back around the net. McCray can't catch up to it. Curl looking for the puck. And the Nordiques come away with it. It's Curtis Lassician to Tatarinov. Tatarinov looking for Sackick. Drops it nicely now. Nolan turns, shoots, rebound. get caught here this is a three on two but now you're going to see a fourth player come in here there's the late guy no one picks him up that's nolan the first shot now look at all the nordique players around john casey chicone or shaw tries to come back in the play and it's the rebound that gets by shaw and john casey but it's the fourth guy coming back into the play that's owen nolan who gets the shot and then there's no one around the front of the net and the soft shot by sundin Eludes both Shaw and John Casey. Yeah, he didn't even get much on the shot, but he didn't need to to put it in the net. And Matt Sundin, who has been Quebec's most prominent player in this game, has a goal to show for it now. Nolan gets his second assist, and Tatarinov draws an assist as well. And Dort was hit along the boards. The North Stars come up with a puck. Caught and knocked down as he got a weak shot near the net. And Busserov sent it ahead for the point. He didn't get very far with it. Derek Smith down the right side. It's Wolanis behind the net. 
escape from two Minnesota checkers and knocked it up to Van Dorf and put it right back in his own zone. And Shane couldn't do anything with that chance. Dahlquist will shoot the puck off the board and into the Quebec zone. Lusseras pass to Volanen. He knocks it into the Minnesota zone as the Nordiques change five players. Jimmy Johnson turns for Minnesota. Up to Gagne. Gagne. Pass. Donald was breaking into the clear, but the puck didn't go there for him. Now it's Pazlowski. Pazlowski waiting into the corner. Kaminsky doesn't have a stick. Ludwig reaches for the puck, but Kaminsky plays it to the skates. Dolan is there to knock it free into the corner. Greg Smith comes hard from the point. Sakic checking on Gagne. Here's Kaminsky back to the goal. Sakic in front. Here's Pazlowski. A shot, and he rolled one into Casey's glove. As the Nordique fan appreciate the Quebec effort, which has led to a 3-0 lead. North Stars are taking a timeout which gives us a chance to tell you that Pittsburgh's lead over Toronto has increased to six to nothing in the second period at the Pittsburgh Civic Arena and New Jersey and Philadelphia are tied 2 2 after two periods both Philadelphia goals by Rod Brindamore as the Flyers are in a playoff race along with the Islanders trying to catch Pittsburgh. Bob Ganey is saying right now use the time left in the second period to get back in the game because the odds are that you're not going to do it all in one period down by three even against Quebec you know the embarrassment of an eight nothing loss to the Montreal Canadiens Joe I don't think ranks with uh, the embarrassment that would come with any kind of a loss here in Quebec these Nordiques have won twice in 20 games and yes they have Kaminsky and Sackick back but this is not a team that anybody with playoff aspirations should lose to and right now this has the makings of Another ugly defeat by any score. And if it stays 3 0 or worse, it just gets ugly. Well, the North Stars aren't taking the man in there, and they're giving Quebec far too many scoring chances. They're getting outworked by the Nordiques, and not only have they only won two games in their last 20, they've only won 12 games all year, and even the San Jose Sharks have won 13. So, I mean, this is a team that's struggling, and, and right now they're taking it to the North Stars. Ganey trying everything he can think of, a timeout here for no other purpose than to tell the North Stars that they certainly need a goal before this period is over. They have to cut this three-goal lead as soon as they can. Position for Lindsay, and he knocked it into the Quebec or the Minnesota zone. Casey out to play the puck to Chicone. Round of the boards for Cray. Gathers it in and gives it to Dave Shaw. Tanner plays the puck and leaves it for Greg Smith. Big hit on him. By Shane Churla, but the Nordiques still come out with the puck. Forche, drop pass, North Stars intercept. Here's a chance now for Bobby Smith. Churla and Shaw trying to catch up. Smith snaps one at the net. Rebound, and Tanner, who's been making saves and giving rebounds, has not yet been hurt by one of those rebounds. Now the North Stars, late in the second period, are going to get a power play. And that should help Bob Ganey's planning and thinking with 4.55 to go. Great opportunity, the, certainly the best of this second period for the North Stars. He was able to walk right in. Now there's Herb Ragland goes down to try and block the shot. The save is made, and David Shaw, who had moved up in the play, then gets the rebound, and Ragland pulls him down high in the slot. That's the call right there. So the North Stars with a great chance to get back in this game right now. It's 4.55 remaining in this period. They're trailing three to nothing and they have to find some firepower right here with the faceoff coming deep into Quebec zone. They've got to start putting some pressure on, start going to the net, take some shots and see, see what they can establish offensively here. We have misconduct penalties being handed out as well as the minor to Greg Smith, or to uh, Herb Raglan rather, Greg Smith is getting a 10 minute misconduct and uh, the North Stars Enrico Ciccone has also been handed that misconduct as they talk after the play, heading to the bench in fact, and Smith isn't happy about it. Well, he's been involved in the physical part of the play the entire night. Shane Churla earlier and then this time with Ciccone. He hasn't had a 3 0 lead all season, and that's how he reacts. <laughs> you know, the North Stars have had a tough time winning in this building, though. They've only won four games in this building 
since uh, Quebec came into the league back in 1978. 4-13-2 right here at the Coliseum. So an important power play attempt here for Minnesota as Raglan's minor penalty is in effect. Lannon shoots the puck right to Brock. Bellows trying to hit Gagne, but Quebec Gusarov picks it up and shoots it down the ice. Right on it is Smale with Broughton trying to make a play for Minnesota. The puck lies in the corner for Rolf Dahlen. Before this season, the North Stars came back from a 3 0 deficit to win a game that was in Hartford. And that's what they have to try and do here tonight in Quebec. Smale fishes the puck off the blue line and knocks it back into the Minnesota zone. The point chops it to Nordy and gets the puck over to Bellows. And here comes Mark Tenorti out now. Nordy's pass to Gagne. A chance here. Gagne right in. And Taylor points it off. It's another Quebec penalty, though. That's Sundin this time. Now there, that's good passing by the North Stars. Two quick passes. The second pass going from Tenorti to Gagne, who walked in hard, and Sundin had to pull him down. But watch the pass here from Tenorti. Bang, right there, right up the middle. That's a good sharp pass. Gagne didn't have to slow down. Now Sundin came the other way and just hauled him down. They all went into the goaltender Tanner, and Sundin will go off, and the North Stars will have a five on three chance here for a minute and three seconds. Well, what better chance to get back in the game than this as Sundin will join Ragland in the penalty box. Well, with the way this with the way this Quebec team has been all season, they've given up over four goals a game on average. That's the second worst in the league. So a three-nothing lead for them is not safe. They're going to use Gusarov and Wolan as defensemen and rookie Claude Lapointe as their penalty killing forward. Gagne centering for Bellows and Dollar, Badano and Broughton. Five Minnesota forwards out there on this power play. And the Nordiques win the draw, but don't get it out. Brought to Madano. A shot is blocked, and Quebec will clear the puck on that occasion. Now that was just a that was just Madano not being patient at all right there. He wanted to take the shot right away. He didn't have a lot of room. There wasn't anyone in front, and they just simply blocked it and cleared the zone. Kanye hit by Gusarov. Back of the goal, Dolan with it. Bellows waits and drops it back to the point to Brought. Brought to Madano. Another shot or pass was deflected. Dolan with it. Back to Madano. Now a hard pass right through Broughton to the point. And Claude LaPointe carries the puck out. Bellow takes it away. 20 seconds of the first Quebec penalty. Broughton kicks the puck right to LaPointe. LaPointe with Madano back. Catching up is Gusarov. And the pass just a little ahead of him as Quebec almost had a chance. Two men short. Well, the North Stars are confused right now. and They're not sure whether to pass it, skate it over the blue line, or, or shoot it in. And that's, and that's a problem, is they're just confused right now. They have 50 seconds of one-man advantage left. The puck came off the boards right onto the back of the net. Clearing attempt didn't work. Dolan picks it up, drops it back for Bellows. Bellows along the boards. Tenorti gets the puck. Mark Tenorti. Bobby Smith. Donald's at the other point. Smith drifts one in. Bellows looking for the rebound. Oh, they had their sticks halfway in the air, hoping for a goal there, but it didn't come. Here's Doug Smale. He's dragged down. And there'll be a Minnesota penalty on the play as the Nordiques center it for Smale. And Casey makes sure that one doesn't go in. But the power play is over, and the first stars, because of Doug Smale's hustle, are forced to take a penalty of their own. Stars came close on the other end with Bobby Smith just took a long harmless wrist shot from the blue line. You'll see him take the shot and right in front Bellows takes first of all a high stick from the goaltender Tanner then gets the rebound and actually goes off the side of the net and Bellows had thought he had scored but it just grazed off to the side of the net and then Quebec came back the other way Smale getting good position and Bobby Smith will go off for tripping right here. And then just after that, Smale with the good chance in front with the puck bouncing over his stick. 
Now the North Stars, this is Smith with the long shot here. Now it actually hits Bellows. Now that you're going to see the puck come loose here. And Bellows is going to be on his backhand. It just slides off the skate of the defenseman, Gusarov, and ticks off the side of the net before going behind the net. Needs an even strength for a few more seconds. Then Quebec will go to the power play. Lambert for the Nordique shoots the puck in. Quebec with a man advantage as Derek Smith tried but didn't get it out. Sundin kept it in. Jamie Baker has some time. Pass shot. It's in. I think the North Stars left it into their own net. And it's 4 to nothing. Well, the North Stars had a chance to clear their zone. They didn't. You're going to see the pass. Now watch the shot right away. The puck's not even stopped. There's the shot. Now you'll see Ludwig come back. He tries to clear it, and it just ticks off his stick over the goal line before he cleared it. But now here's Baker with a nice pass, but it's the shot right off the pass that's the key. And then Ludwig has a chance, and as he's reaching for it with his stick, he pokes it over the goal line into the net before he cleared it out of there. And Quebec has a 4-0 lead with 1.44 to go in this second period. And what was the score after two periods last night? 4-0 Four Four nothing. Nothing for Montreal. So if that was bad, this is worse. At least through two periods. Well, the Nordiques, of course, are buoyed by this big lead. They haven't had leads of any sort very often this season, and here they find themselves up by four. Nolan touched the puck in front of the net, and he gets credit for the goal. Lambert took the shot from the point, and Nolan got a piece of it right in front of Casey, and it's Owen Nolan's 30th of the season. Well, Bob Gainey did the right thing in calling a timeout earlier to try and get his, his players going. Problem Nolan is, can only get one a game. That's correct. That's right. Nolan was right in front of the net and ended up tipping that shot in and gets credit for it as Ludwig put it in his own net. And you talk about a guy that got off to a great start this year and that has slowed down. That's Owen Nolan. He had 17 goals in the first 20 games of the season. And now, with that goal right there, 13 in his last 35. At the 20 game mark, he was leading the league, was on pace to score 68 this season. And at the halfway mark, he was a potential 50 goal scorer. This is 30th of the season. As it looks as though it'll be a tall order for him to get to 50, maybe 40. Still a good season for Nolan uh, after the rookie campaign that he struggled through last season. But it's not going to be as good as it looked as though it might be. Rob Schick still has the arm in the air. He seems like he's been there throughout the period as there will be a penalty call to the Nordiques. With 56 seconds to go in the period, Dave Gagne is ball behind the play with a Quebec player Herb Raglan. The thing that has to you know at least when you look at this Quebec team and give you some hope for the third period is the opportunities that the North Stars have. Now they're misfiring on their passes but you can tell this defense is very wary of Quebec. You know they're just moving back into the zone. The North Stars have been able to carry the puck and make some plays. Jimmy Johnson with the try there. He gets pulled down. That'll be the penalty. But the North Stars, when they've got momentum going into Quebec zone, at least what they're doing is that they're, they're putting themselves in a position to at least get a good scoring chance. In our second intermission, another episode of Bob Gainey and the Hockey Tips, brought to you by Coca-Cola Classic. Check the other scores as well. Pittsburgh continuing to romp over Toronto, 6 to nothing. at last word. If you notice that little mark under Bob Gainey's left eye, yesterday morning at practice in the Montreal Forum, he got clipped by one of his players with a stick. Power play chance in the final minute of the period for Minnesota. The North Stars shut out last night for three periods by Patrick Waugh, have not put a puck past John Tanner in almost two full periods here. David Shaw sends it at the net. And again, a big rebound. Everything at Tanner has been stopped. But boy, the rebounds have come off like from a machine. But Minnesota hasn't been able to do anything with that. Volana just leaves it in the Minnesota zone. 40 seconds left in the period. The Nordy starts up for Minnesota.
Minnesota. Long shot in. Churla trying to drop it to the point. Now Churla has it in the corner. It's Bobby Smith's turn in the corner. Smith on the side for a shot, and Anner got in the way of that one. It is Mass, I believe, and Smale couldn't get it out. Here's Wolan and turning, and he's getting it out to the side. Shaw's shot goes high and wide with nine seconds left. Lordy shot one at the end, and Tanner will cover up this rebound as McCray draws a crowd, and Churla's there to help it. Bobby Smith trading blows in front of the net. With Claude LaPointe, and they'll continue it as everybody else comes in, and Churla finally says enough of this. And Tenorti, too. Now we've got all sorts of activity. Claude LaPointe was just firing punches long after Bobby Smith thought the fight was over. Well, LaPointe came in and hit either Shane Churla or McCray from behind after that skirmish in front. He was the one that came from behind. That's when Bobby Smith saw that, and he jumped in there. But what Bob Ganey has done in this power play in the last minute, he's decided to put Bobby Smith up front with Churla and McCray, and you can just see what they're doing. They're just taking shots at the net, trying to get McCray and Churla in front. And that's what the what Shaw did on the shot. He took the shot from the point. Now this is Astonorti with the shot, and you'll, you'll see uh, the save there. Tanner holds on to it. And LaPointe jumped in there and hit one of the players from behind. And they just start punching away at each other with their gloves on. McCrane will land and have been doing a lot of talking while all of this has been going on. And Rob Schick has delivered a warning to them that any further misbehavior will result in penalties and maybe ejections for getting involved in a second scrap. Smith and LaPointe are getting the penalties here as there are five seconds remaining in the second period. Now Wolanin and Tenorti are having words, and they're going. And that doesn't help Minnesota one bit. No, it really doesn't, because Bob Ganey already has a problem with his defense on the power play, and he's been having to use David Shaw a lot on the power play, and he normally is not a power play specialist. But Mark Tenorti is a guy that always plays the power play in just about the entire two minutes of each power play. And he's going to get sent off now. Well, the North Stars, uh, the Nordiques lose a defenseman too, but they've got a 4 0 lead. And Mark Tenorti, uh, right now, is more important to Minnesota than Craig Willannon is to Quebec. Uh, you can just see the frustration in the North Stars and Coach Bob Ganey. I mean, they're just having a heck of a lot of difficulty getting anything going at all offensively. They're just not moving the puck as sharp as we've seen them do it in the past. They're not sure whether to carry the puck, move it quickly, or throw it in. They're not getting the momentum going into the offensive zone when they do dump the puck in, and that's allowing Quebec's defense to go back and get the puck and really make an easy play coming out of their own zone. This five-game road trip will end early next week, and the North Stars are home for two games next week against the Canadians on Wednesday, and the following Saturday they'll play a matinee game against the Hartford Whalers. 989-5159 is the Ticketmaster number for tickets to those games against two Adams Division teams, the Montreal Canadiens and the Hartford Whalers. The North Stars had a very good record against clubs in the Adams Division until they hit the province of Quebec for these two games. Uh, things certainly aren't going to get any easier for the North Stars as we talk about those three teams that they face later this weekend and early next week with the Rangers, the Islanders, and New Jersey. Those are the those are three of the highest scoring teams in the league. Quebec is a team that has had trouble scoring goals all year and they've got a 4-0 lead here. So things are going to get more and more difficult for the North Stars as this road trip progresses. The penalties are double minors to the point of Bobby Smith and unsportsmanlike conduct minors to Wolanin and Tenorti. And there's a 10 minute misconduct penalty that's been announced to Bobby Smith as well. So the uh, sides are even. But the North Stars are going to be without Bobby Smith for 10 minutes after his minor. And five seconds left here. The North Stars keep Churl and McCray on the ice, and the Nordiques do not counter with any muscle men. Rather, it is Sundin and Doug Smale out there, and Sundin and Basil McCray have some words. Well, Matt Sundin has been one of the best players on the ice tonight. He's been able to find a lot of open ice, and he has really been showing his skill, especially his speed. Hey, hey. 
that's the end of the period as otherwise the Nordiques would have broken away and now we've got some trouble brewing as Sundin was knocked down McCray and Gusarov shove each other the period is over and if anything erupts now it's heavy fines to both clubs and McCray is whacking away at Sundin now Craig grabs hold of Matt Sundin well McCray is really frustrated you can really see it on his face he is really frustrated by what's gone on the last two nights. He's out there trying to take it out on somebody. As I say, the Nordiques do not have fighters on the ice. Tanner might be the best one, and he's the goalie. And he's out there involved in this, too. And uh, the scoreboard reflects only part of that. There is the end of a minor to Curtis. Not all night. The uh, Nordiques announced the acquisition today of a veteran player from the Chicago Blackhawks. John Tonelli moves on to his fifth NHL team as the Nordiques picked him up from Chicago for future considerations. Pierre Page making a move to try to strengthen the veteran leadership of this Quebec team, which has enough young players but needs some older ones to show them the way. Here's Owen Nolan, who has drawn two assists in this game for the first time this season tonight. Nolan came into the game with 29 goals but only 13 assists and now he's got 15 assists. Sides are even for the next 50 seconds. And the North Stars pass the puck to Ludwig. Ludwig shot. This is the net. Johnson goes after it. Gets it again. Low to Madonna. Madonna all the way back to the point to Ludwig and it comes off his stick and out of the zone offside with a penalty coming up on that play for high sticking. Well, that was on Jimmy Johnson as he moved in from the right point and tried to make a play. He passed the puck and then tried to go to the front of the net, and Owen Nolan was covering him, and he got his stick up on Jimmy Johnson. And the North Stars now get a chance to turn things around here early in the period. They'll have a four on three for the next 29 seconds. Those are not the players' benches, folks. Those are right there. There's about a, an equal number of players on both sides of the ice, penalty boxes and players' benches. And uh, this could get a little rough down the stretch. The Nordiques were not pleased at all with the treatment of Sundin by Basil McCray. They don't have McCray to come back and hit, but the idea might be to whack away at players who don't hit back on the North Stars squad. Well, that might be a good opportunity for the North Stars. If they can get one here and then draw Quebec into taking some silly penalties this period, they still have a chance to come back in this game. They just need to pick up the level of their intensity. Short four on three power play advantage for Minnesota. Madano carries the puck, crosses the line, gives it to Gagne. Back to Madano. Shaw has the puck. Nothing in the way of an attack yet. Shaw drops it to Bellows. He shoots one, hit the goalpost. Madano to Gagne. He lost the puck as Tanner comes out, plays it around on the boards. Madano keeps it in. He's hit into the boards and gets up. Here's a chance now as Smale is with Lassician back to Smale. It was behind him off his skate. Bellows catching up is Dave Shaw, but Bellows turns back as the sides are even again with the expiration of. Curtis Lassician's penalty from the second period. Alquist fell down as he tried to go ahead with a puck, and here's Baker. Back rookie Jamie Baker behind another rookie, Bill Lindsay. Todd Ellick picks it up for Minnesota. This is to Dolan. Dolan head faking around Gusarov, but Lindsay was there to stop him. Now it's Johnson. Across the line, a shot right on. Another rebound. It lies loose. Oh, John Tanner giving up rebound. Dolan shot one, and this time he holds it. That was a great save by Tanner on that last shot from Dolan. Now, Dolan on the initial shot took the shot and went through the crease and lost, actually lost the puck, but it was in his feet. And you see the shot. This is Johnson. Now, Dolan's going to follow up here. Now, the puck is free, and he doesn't see it and turns away. Now, it's going to end up right back on his stick right here. Now, there's a the shot. A great save right there by Tanner. His, his showed his reflexes there. Just moved his right arm out and made the save. There's Dolan going by the puck. Now, good job here by Jimmy Johnson. He prized it free. Look at the quick shot there by Dolan. And a great reflex save by Tanner. 
No wins yet this season for John Tanner. He'd love a win and even better a shutout if he can get it here tonight. He had one victory in the National Hockey League entering this season. Lannon's pass. Lions position in the corner. Mackick trying to get at the puck. Jostling with Chris Dahlquist and Smale will pick it up. Smale off to Sackick. Passed into the middle of the ice is taken by Shaw. Soon the North Stars will be killing the remainder of Basil McRae's major penalty. As Nolan gets set to come back for Quebec. Ludwig. Shoots the puck into the Quebec zone. It is now a Quebec power play for two minutes and 20 seconds. Gusarov. Kamensky on the ice along with Sakic. Gusarov heads for the net. Back of the goal. Kamensky picks it up, drops it back, gets it again. Shane runs at Kamensky and gets the puck off him. Kamensky, though, keeps at it, and the Nordiques regain control. Sakic with Kamensky in the corner. And again, 8 can Duchesne comes up with the puck. He's with Rott. Duchesne on the right side. Ahead to Johnson. Johnson shot. Easily turned aside by Tanner. And it's Dan Lambert for Quebec. Minute 40 left in this Nordiques power play. Casey leaving it for Tenorti. He stepped around one check. Puck comes in front of the net. Kaminsky a back pass. And Casey had to make a save at the side of the net as the North Stars shoot the puck away. Well, the North Stars, again, they have to try and go on the offensive as, as soon as they can. Every chance they get, even though they're shorthanded, try and get some pressure on offensively and get on the scoreboard. Maslowski for the Nordiques. He got a hit from Tenorti. Puck did not come out. Lusarov for Kaminsky. Big shot missed the net as he tried for goal number one in the National Hockey League there. And the crowd still buzzing. Kaminsky's decision to wind up and try and shoot it through the net or the goaltender or both. Then he gets a hand as he heads to the bench. Rookie Lambert for the Nordiques. You hear rookie in front of these names a lot. Quebec Nordiques are a young team. Haven't had many nights to enjoy like this one. Well, they have eight rookies on this team, and as you mentioned, the acquisition of John Tonelli was, trying, was to try and shore up the leadership quality on this team. Meanwhile, behind the net, Gaetan Duchesne gets taken down by John Tanner, and we'll have a penalty. An already shot, missed the net, the rebound, and Tanner got there just in time at the far goal post. Sides even for a few more seconds, and McCray's major will be over, and Minnesota will have a power play. Seems one power play is either beginning or ending throughout this game. All in around on the boards, but Sackick jumped on it and shot the puck down the ice. A minute and a half of power play time now for Minnesota. Tenorti. Watch by Spale, passes the puck to Gagne. Tanner plays it nicely out of his goal, flips it around on the board. Right at Shaw, Bellows deflected it in front of the net. Lambert flips it, Gagne intercepted, but the North Stars can't do anything with it as Quebec shoots the puck out, and LaPointe goes and gets it. Claude LaPointe, checked by Dolan. Minute remaining in the power play as Lambert shoots the puck into the North Stars zone. The North Stars, though they all haven't been complete power play attempts, have had eight of them and haven't scored yet, obviously, on the power play or any other one. Well, they just haven't been able to get that flow going the entire night. Good chances on the power play against a, a weak penalty-killing unit. And meanwhile, a team that's last in the league in the power play has scored a couple on the power play. Now the Nordiques have their power play goals from Gusarov and Owen Nolan. All quest for Minnesota. Hitting Madonna on the fly. Madonna gave the puck up to Sundin, and it's now Dave Shaw's turn. He gets it to Dahlquist, and Dahlquist back on the other side. Alec will have to go play the puck. As this power play ends in a fizzle, too, with the Nordiques ready to come back to full strength after Tanner's minor is over, which it is now. Ragland comes out of the box, serving the penalty for the goalie. 
the point gives it a spale. Spale trying to get it up and shot it wide. Casey had most of the net covered. Duchesne bothered by Claude LaPointe. Back of the goal is Lambert. Around on the boards for Bolanin. Smith took a poke at him, and Lindsay comes out with it for the Nordiques to Claude LaPointe. Point thought about shooting, passes it off now to Lambert. He drops it back to LaPointe. At the point. Ludwig for Minnesota. Up to Duchesne. Gaetan Duchesne with Churla busting into the right side. Shot it behind the net. Churla whacks at it from a bad angle. Didn't get much on it. And Quebec sends it the length of the ice. Casey indicating icing, which will happen when Ludwig touches the puck with 12.33 left. Earlier, he came in with 89 points leading the league. He now has 92 points. It's somehow forgotten the Pittsburgh slump that Kevin Stevens continues to lead all scorers, and that's with guys like Colin Gretzky and Iserman and Messier on his heels. Well, with Lemieux on that team, most he gets most of the attention, so Kevin Stevens just stays quiet. Tanner stopped that directly from the point as Dahlquist put a shot on goal, and Rob Schick wants to call more penalties. And he's going to. I guess if he wants to, he can. 12 well, to goal. go. I knew they were in double figures. Gagne back to the point. Broughton shot, and the save by Tanner, the inevitable rebound. Gusarov in the corner, leaving it back in the net for Lecician. Up the boards, Broughton keeps it in. Two bellows. Broughton hacks at it again, but this time the Nordiques can bring it out. Claude Lapointe for Spale, and the pass didn't get to him. Lecician tried a shot. Now has to get back and play defense. And the Minnesota power play heads up ice. Gagne to Broughton. Gagne busts into the clear. Dave Gagne shoots one, and Tanner's got this without a rebound. Home free, and Tanner came down to cut the end. Well, I think there was almost an excuse me pass from Broughton. I, I think Neil Broughton was trying to make the pass across the ice, but Gagne found himself walking in all alone. Now he couldn't cut to his backhand, so what he did was he tried to wait for Tanner to make the first move. He made a couple of fakes, waiting for Tanner to spread his legs and try and go between his legs with it. And Tanner showed a lot of patience, stayed right with Gagne, and made the save. Well, it's been a while since uh, the North Stars were able to score a goal late in the game on Saturday against the Pittsburgh Penguins. They made it 5-2 to two to win that one. But they didn't score last night, and they haven't scored tonight. And it's almost 110 straight minutes of hockey without a goal for Minnesota at this point. With a minute 25 left in the penalty to Curtis Lecician. Tanner for Sundin, and Sundin shot the puck out of play. That Sundin was certainly the spark for Quebec early in the game. Over in Pittsburgh, the Penguins, who beat the Leafs earlier in the season 12 to 1 at the Civic Arena, do it 7 to 1 tonight. So if the North Stars can come back here, they could gain ground on losing Toronto, but it's a tall order for Minnesota. With 11 and a half minutes left, they have a minute of power play time remaining here. Shaw at the point. Gets a shot. Deflected just wide. Shaw again. Another shot. That didn't get through. Craig turns and finds the puck. Craig shoots one at the net. Comes off the stick of Gusarov back to Craig. This is Alec. Alec pass in the slot. Madano shot. And Tanner again with the save. And he cleared his own rebound this time. Johnson is in deep. 25 seconds left in the power play. Alec for Johnson. Johnson comes in front, the puck slides to Tanner, he knocks it up. Falling down was Pazlowski, and the crowd thinks the penalty should have been called there. Schick does not. It's Ellick. Up to Craig. Hit on him by Lambert, and a good one. That play right there was very indicative of how the North Stars power play has gone tonight. Just too many situations where the puck carrier has found himself in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and the Quebec player is able to come in, take the man out of the play, and the second Quebec player picking up the loose puck and clearing the zone. Puck is iced now by Quebec as Bill Lindsay jostles with Enrico Ciccone. 
We'll take a break with 10.07. The game thus far, I think you can look at John Casey, and at least what he's done is he's looked much more confident in goal. He's moved out of the goal like he normally does to play the puck and clear the zone. He hasn't really been at fault at, on any of the Quebec. The Philadelphia Flyers have forced overtime at New Jersey on a late goal. Five seconds in the third period remaining when Kevin Deneen tied it up for Philadelphia. Well, Phil is known to be aggressive as well as a goal scorer. So let's see what happens here. Curlin knocks the puck at the net. Raglan sends it out over the blue line. And Ludwig right back in. Ludwigs again just shoot the puck out. Nolan was looking for Ludwig who avoided a check. Now Smith missed Ciccone or vice versa. Casey out of the goal, plays the puck. And we've got a penalty coming up here. Back, back on the power play. Husserov got it to Lambert. Husserov a shot. It went off the stick of Derek Smith. And Rob Schick is in a sandwich with Kozlowski and Derek Smith. Husserov, other side. Rookie Lambert shot. Right on as Casey made the save. The rebound was almost crossing the line. Lambert again over to Gusarov. He finds Sackick. Nice pass in front. As Lasky lost the puck as Kaminsky reached for it. It's down the ice. Yeah, two excellent defensive plays by Mark Tenorti. The first one, he had great position and was able to clear the puck out, out of the crease area. Then the second time, he blocked the shot. This is Sackick turning and looking. Gusarov to Lambert. Nice puck movement. Sackick has to go get it. And it is out of play. Joe Sackick a little slow getting back into form after missing 11 games, and there'll be better coming from Kaminsky, but boy, the Nordiques have to be very happy to have them both in the lineup. Cold Quebec off the board the rest of the way. Sundin tried to put it back to Gusarov, and that hit Neil Broughton comes out of the zone. Sundin watched by Broughton again. Taking their time, and time is definitely on their side. Sundin going moves, and they go offside at the Minnesota line. A good play by Jim Johnson right at the line is Elvis tonight. We hope you enjoy that. But eventually, he, along with everybody else, will leave the building. Half a minute to go in this Quebec power play with Ciccone sitting on a penalty. Nolan now down the right side. 30 goals with number 30 coming tonight. Nolan was hit and knocked down by Tenorti after he sent the puck deep. Here's Sundin. Tenorti whacked him. At the point, Lambert, a pass. Lassician passed it. Johnson went for a dive trying to draw a penalty, but he did not as Ciccone gets set to come back for Minnesota. The North Stars hope to get a too many men on the ice penalty against the Nordiques is Wayne Van Dorf and Chris Dahlquist bump into each other. Van Dorf getting a rare shift here. Racklin to join him. Mark Tenorti. A pass too far for Ciccone who is out of the box and now at the bench. Wolanin turning in his own zone for Quebec, just over seven minutes to go in the third period. Ragland picked up the puck. Madano couldn't handle him, and Van Dorp shot it high right on Casey to put it up to Gagne. Dave Gagne checked by Forche. Got it off. Ciccone flipped it. He went to the bench and came right back on. Van Dorp shot the puck in. And that's it for Van Dorp and Ragland as the Nordiques send out blue forwards. Kamensky will come on the ice. As the North Stars go offside at the Quebec line, 6:44 to go. Three years old now, the leadership, and very happy with what he's contributed to this team. Just under seven minutes remaining as John Tanner can't help thinking about the shutout possibilities here. Greg is knocked down. Zaki keeps the puck in the Minnesota zone, waiting for it. Back of the net is Pazlowski. He centered it, and it pops out to Dollar. Now it's Ciccone heading the Minnesota rush. Dropping it off for Ellick. Ellick shot it back of the goal. Dowland picks it up there. Position tries to keep him there. Comes free to Ellick. 
Alec in front for Dolan. He backhands it and Tanner snaps out the glove. It lies on the goal line. Alec shoots and he misses. Kaminsky back the other way with Sackett. Drops it off. Here's the trailer. Has Lasky shot. Well, the North Stars have come close, but can't come closer than that without scoring. And the puck lying a little bit of it, I think, right on the goal line. Sackett now. As the North Stars are changing. Perfect pass. Lambert. And open in front is Nolan. And the net's knocked off. We'll take a break. 5.36 to go. Close calls at both ends. A good chance here. Lambert can't get it in front. Back to live action. Tenorti lost it. Here's Nolan from the corner. He is knocked down. Casey comes out of the net and runs into his own man, Derek Smith. Casey hustles back into the goal. Sundin trying to play the puck back in the goal to Nolan. And the North Stars shoots the puck down the ice. Tanner directs traffic. As he leaves the puck for Lambert, who's been impressive handling the puck on the Quebec defense. He's not big. But Dan Lambert can move it. Plays the power play. Passes and shoots it pretty well. He's only five foot eight, Dave. Not a big guy at all, but very heady player that handles the puck. And he's he's made a lot of good plays, especially coming out of his zone today. Alexei Kusarov, who opened the scoring in the game, made a bad clearing play. The North Stars trying to capitalize as Mike Craig and Van Dorp collide along the board. There's a shot by Derek Smith. Kusarov took it from Tanner, and that's dangerous handling of the puck. Right in the crease, Ciccone falls down as he turns and Van Dorp came along those boards. Ciccone hitting it, Van Dorp. Ciccone wants Van Dorp, and he's got him. Well, Enrico Ciccone was looking for that all the way. He went right after Van Dorp. Van Dorp, I think, knew that that was going to end up happening as well. Be majors there and maybe an instigating minor to Enrico Ciccone. 419 left in the third period. Now Ciccone back on the blue line, but keep moving ahead and keep working to catch St. Louis. And then one other important thing, he needed a very good performances out of his top players tonight. And up to this point he hasn't he hasn't gotten that kind of performance. The extra minor penalty be served by Brian Bellows, and uh, as we told you earlier, he has some company in there. Darcy Wakaluk there to talk to the North Stars who are penalized, and there have been a lot of them tonight as Rob Schick's whistle and arm have been busy. Both ways. Quebec has capitalized with two power play goals, and the North Stars have been blank every way on the scoreboard. Here's a shot by Lambert. Casey kept that out. Nolan back of the goal for Sundin. Sackick is back there too. All the way at the point to Lambert. Kusarov took a shot. Casey covers up with Sundin looking for a rebound. 344 remaining. Well, that's one thing about these Quebec defensemen. They're not very big, they're not very physical, but they do handle the puck well, they skate well, and they get the shot off there. And that last shot by Gusarov, you were able to see his athletic ability as that was a hard pass from Lambert coming across. And he wasted no time at all getting the shot on goal. And speaking of Soviet defensemen, Vyacheslav Fatisov has won it in overtime for New Jersey. The Devils thought they had it won in regulation time, but Deneen forced the overtime with five seconds remaining in the third period. Fatisov wins it for the Devils. Formerly the Soviet Union, now the unified team. I want to know what happens if there's dissension on the unified team. Did they change the name? <laughs> Ununified. Here's Duchesne as the North Stars are shorthanded for another minute. Position at the point along the boards. Doesn't come out. Gusarov keeps it in. And it now comes out over the line. Pazlowski with just over three minutes separating John Tanner from a shutout. Kusarov backs up with Broughton on him, and it's position for Quebec. A long pass to Pazlowski. Shot by Kaminsky. He showed earlier what he could do when he winds up, but the first one was a little closer to the net than that. That was about 40 feet wide. 
But notice the buzz in the stand. I mean, these people are ready to be impressed no matter what Valeri Kaminsky does. Here's Ludwig coming in. Tried to center it. Alec couldn't get there. And it is Dan Lambert moving out with Alec, or with Sasaki, rather, and Nolan. Lambert turns. Tried to flip it in. Had Derek Smith to deal with as the puck went off Smith. Now Smith and Lambert come together and take turns going down. Sackick wound up for a shot. Nolan's pass was too soft and intercepted by Johnson. Just over two minutes remaining. Landon for Quebec. Here's Nolan. He lost at Madonna for the North Stars. Couldn't get it out the first time. Nolan prevented it the second time. Now Sundin is bumped into by Bellows, and Madonna comes back for the North Stars with Gagne. Madonna shot wide. Gagne on the rebound. Centered it, and here come the North Two, maybe two on one. Nola, a pass, and Sundin had stopped heading for the net. Tenorti was there. Bello has to wait for Gagne to get onside. Gave it to Madonna on the right wing. Madonna tried to get around Lasish, and the puck lies for, for Gagne, and he shot it at Tanner. One more save for John Tanner. Like last night, the North Stars have outshot their opposition, but so far have been shut out. Told you then that shots on goal aren't necessarily a barometer of anything. And once again here tonight, it doesn't indicate that the North Stars have been beaten by a better goalie, but rather either by a better team or by themselves, I think you'd have to say. Here's Usarov. Still has the puck. Still back in that net. Usarov finds himself with it again. Shot it at the net. Comes off to Gagne in the final minute of the game. Smith on the ice. Nice pass to Lindsay. Three Nordiques. Lindsay, a pass, a shot, and it slides under Casey and pass on the point. Dolan lost the puck at center, and Gusarov, who has been put on defense for Quebec, and has scored a goal. David Shaw for Minnesota. Less than half a minute to go. Put it at the net. He whacked at it once. It wasn't covered up. Here's Shaw. Shot. And it just goes back to Bobby Smith as Tanner wants to make this interesting here. First starts put on a little late pressure, but the Nordiques, Greg Smith has it now. He gave it away. You don't like this guy? One more chance with one second to go. It's wide, and Tanner's got his shot out. And first victory of the season to boot. Well, those last chances were really the way this game has gone the entire evening. A couple of spurts now and then, and again, Tanner either made the save or the North Stars missed the net. It was 8-0 last night. It's 4-0 tonight for the other team. Doug Patterson was wrong because when the shark fins started playing, it got somewhat better. And when the Swedish bikini team came surfing by, it got a little better. And when a treasure chest of old Milwaukee washed ashore, it most certainly got better. Old Milwaukee and Old Milwaukee Light. It just doesn't get any better than this. John Tanner wins and shuts him out. Quebec 4, Minnesota nothing for Joe McElhenney and our entire production crew in Quebec City. Dave Hodge saying goodnight. <laughs>